this is absolutely a very 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 great initiative i feel and you you guys are covering every every state of our technological aspects for example cyber security to machine learning it's been a, an awesome initiative i must say So I'm Shweta Shaw. First of all, I would like to introduce you both. Uh, this is Mr. Praveen Bahati, the MD and founder of Alien Brains, and this is Mr. Shobhushachi Mukhopadhyay. Hi. He's Intel software innovator, Google developer, expert in machine learning, and the Kolkata lead of Facebook Developer Circle. That's awesome. I mean, such a big introduction. It speaks a lot about the wealth of There knowledge in courses. Yeah. So there are many more things. Uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very, very much for your generous introduction. <laughs> and uh, Shweta is just saying that there are many more things. So I, uh, yeah, of course, I believe there are a lot of things. So uh, first of all, like, how are you? I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Till now, okay. Thanks for agreeing no. to do this. I think uh, absolutely, it's my pleasure. Yeah. How are you, by the way? Yeah, I, I am doing great. Awesome, actually. Uh, uh, like talking to people uh, every time, like this India Super Brain has provided me this opportunity to actually connect with a lot of people, pan India. Right. So I've been just talking to people every day, and it feels, you know, lively. So right. I, I mean, uh, like when you first about India Super Brain, I think you heard about this from Shweta. Yeah. What, yeah. what What did you feel about it? And this is absolutely a very, very, very great initiative. I feel, and you, you guys are covering every every state of our technological aspects. For example, cyber security to machine learning, it's been an awesome initiative. I must say. So, uh, so like the, for people who might not be aware about it, so we are coming up with this India Super Brain, where we are trying to mm. train students in these four technologies: cyber security, mm. web development, machine learning, primary mm. and PBMs. The core idea behind this particular thing is that instead of trying to judge people on what they exactly know from before, we are trying to do something where this we can judge them on how they how quickly they can grasp these new concepts, how quickly they can adapt exactly. to the technologies because technologies can keep on changing, mm -hmm. right? But how exactly exactly <laughs> that is the core idea behind it. And one more thing which we found was a lot of people. I think uh, being this part of this developer circle, you also you also must be knowing a lot of people lack the self confidence. That can I do this? Can I do this? Exactly. I mean, this can this can be an opportunity for them to boost their self confidence. Absolutely. Like they will realize what their potential is. This is what my understanding. Now I would like to understand from you. No, absolutely. And this is absolutely I agree with you uh, because because you see people people are lacking confidences and obviously the awareness is also three four point two where a lot of lot of new technologies are developing and for example they have a lot of potential in different aspects for example in the from healthcare to agriculture everywhere you can you can deploy those technologies and create impact on the bottom of the pyramid you see because in India it is more than ninety six percent people under the bottom of pyramid category across the globe there are more than eighty percent people who are under the bottom of pyramid category so this percentage of the people do not have enough money to pay tax so what about coming up with some low cost solution low cost technological solutions through exploring ai ml so this this has a lot of potential but you see people uh, definitely a lot of people are not aware of those technologies okay and that's why you can even see that in the course curriculum even even uh, even a lot of universities are thinking of bringing up those courses programs like data science ai cyber security btech program on data science ai and cyber security mtech program on data science uh, ai on cyber security so even even universities are also thinking that if they can bring down those courses so because you you see, the, the, the ten people you have to guide them in the right direction. Otherwise, you can't expect that they will do the miracles. But definitely, we have some responsibilities. Uh, uh, for example, being part of Facebook Developer Circle and being uh, being uh, being also an active academician, I can understand what are the current market needs. And you guys are doing a fabulous initiative with the Super Brain. So I I do, I do believe that these are the these are the right path, right ways. If we can train people. They can deliver to us the society, and we always remember that technology should come as a blessings to human life. Um, so I would like to understand from you, uh, mm -hmm. like, like you have been part of this developer circle from so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
so when somebody new comes in like lot of students try to come and be a part of it exactly exactly so what are the general challenges or general questions which you face and do you think some of these issues might be addressed by this india summit well so first of all the let me tell you that uh, as i mentioned that the knowledge because you see uh, students they they are they are keen they are they are keen to learn about the new technologies but they do not know what are the right paths how how should they proceed for example if if if, if somebody is interested in the ai domain so how how should they start it it's 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 not about it's it's not only about to uh, uh, just dip, uh, just to do, to pick up codes from github and deploy those models but if you want to for example if you want to build your build your conceptual uh, conceptual uh, base strong for example you have to start with the basics of linear algebra statistics probably this is the very very background requirements and then gradually you will learn start from the basics of the linear regression logistic regression then you go much deeper of the machine learning and if somebody is interested in deep learning then they have to they have to cover up this part supervised and unsupervised semi supervised learning then go to deep learning now now you can see a lot of problems which happen we i have seen it's not only about the facebook developer circle it's it's it's, it's about the any tech community whenever i go to uh, go as it for hackathons or something like that so what happens people are abruptly uh, doing some classifications problem they are deploying abruptly a uh, conversion and now if you ask them that why you are applying cnn here there are other tools are also available so they are lacking with those conceptually they are saying uh, 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 everybody is doing that so i am also doing it so they are not no they are not they are not uh, being able to answer it correctly that why are the why are the uh reason i mean what uh, what is the reason behind applying those cnn and something like that so uh, because of that there, there is some lack behind the conceptual conceptual um, um, foundations you may say so you have to they have to learn from the very very basics that is very very important because you see once you lack the basics you can't can't even explain that what is the reason even when somebody i have uh, whenever while interacting i found that some of them are also lacking in the, in the con uh, concept in machine learning people go for uh, sigmoid function and hyperbole in deep learning people use relu so what is the concept behind relu and if you don't ask, these are the very basic things you see even even if they are going for the job application job applications data scientist or data applicant data analyst this kind of positions people will ask you very very basic questions and if you can't answer them then you can understand the scenario okay how can you grab grab those jobs so this is the reason we have to guide them in a proper manner in a coherent way it's not like about just to pick picking up codes and and and, and winning hackathons this is not like that and because people are what what the students are thinking that students have potential let me tell you students have potential but the thing is that somehow they are not getting the proper guidances and what they are thinking that well this is a competition if i can pick up some um, good codes from github and just uh, just reproduce it then i can easily win the hackathon so this kind of wrong mind setup is actually so we have to guide them in a proper way such that they can become the self sufficient and they can they can grab those opportunity job opportunities because lot of lot of lot of, there are there are a lot of opportunities of job now you see robotic process automations due to application of the ai is is there are new new ad, advanced version of the robotic processes coming up and this is you can call it intelligence process automation so there will be again the need of the job and according to the uh, the hindu business times by 2021 this robotic process automation and intelligence process automation is going to create 3 lakhs jobs in india you can imagine now if students do not aware of that first of all you have to make aware aware them about the what are the technologies what are the job needs are there and then you have to train them in a proper manner okay in a proper right man i mean proper path okay that that first of all you learn this then you go to go do this okay then what happens your conceptual buildings has become strong once you are you are conceptual building it's strong then uh, i mean uh, it is not a problematic okay because the paradigm the, the technological paradigm shift is a continuous process but the basic root is always important and another thing i want to mention here also as you as you as you are asking me like a lot of people has has a, has a wrong conception regarding iml that it's all about uh, finding the accuracy the more you will get near by 100% accuracy accuracy i am good okay but apart from the accuracy there is another important factor you see this is uh, <clears throat> that time complexity okay for example you, you people are now now nowadays talking about edge computing uh, 
but people are talking about for computing okay so uh, they 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 just know that what 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 the thing is that you are putting some intermediate device between the data source and cloud so these are acting like edge but to deploy edge analytics for example the devices like smartphone now what what are the what are the ways you see you have to reduce the because you see in one night uh, i mean using desktop so you are getting the support of gpus right but whenever you were using the uh, low processor power devices like mobile phone you don't have those kind of the support now if you want to run the code you in your edge devices like mobile then then how you can you can use those tricky algorithms for example there are there are ways like depth wise separable cn is one of the tricky ways but to deploy them you should know that how we can reduce the time complexity so this kind of the tricky tricky things people should know because these are the very very basic thing for example i a lot of in lot of areas i i, I mean in lot of universities so during my talk i have interacted with students few of them are very smart and few of them do have potential i always mention the students have potential but due to some lack of guidance or maybe some due to their own lack of confidences they leaving behind but if you can if you can guide them in a the right way they can pick them up for example uh, let me tell you that if you tell them in this way understanding it but somehow they are not getting that how data structure can help me in the conceptual building of the machine learning now you see this is this are how the data structure is playing i am giving you an example how data structure is playing the pivotal role here we always talk about linear algebra statistics probability but we miss out the importance of the data structure in in the building your career in data science or ai so for example you have image of n by n okay now whenever you have the n by n image it, it it's acts like an matrix okay so definitely if you the what will be the order of complexity here so order of complexity is n square because if you write the code it will be in a nested for loop okay now what are the ways of reducing the time complexity in this case so one of the possible ways is for example in the first row is abc second row in the second row the elements are def now if you unfold them in horizontal direction or vertical direction and concatenate them for example we are we are unfolding it in a horizontal direction so it will become after concatenation abc def okay so this is called the vectorization in the in the mathematical term so what are the uh, now now what will be the time complexity so now the time complexity reduces to order of n square to order of n are you getting my point so these are the very very basic basic thing but the the, the once only on it, it will be possible when somebody has a strong foundation in data structure you see so these are the ways you can actually motivate them and once i i explain to them so i can tell you that there are a lot of students not only from the facebook developer circle mm -hmm. uh, even 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 i visited few of the institutes for example Plain IT, Raoul Kella, even in IIT Guwahati, I found them. The students are getting very much motivated. The students who are not getting interested in data structures, mm -hmm. they become interested because you have to give them the practical examples. You see, otherwise, what they are finding that why I am studying these time complexities and what is the applications. So once you relate them. For example, like I when I mentioned this computing, mobile phone based computing, and how it is helping. Well, well, you understand that. our the gpu support you will getting to the desktop uh, but you will not get into the mobile phone so low low processor power devices how it can create impact those those small i mean those are the tricky those are the tricky ways but if somebody knows that how to apply them they can create a phenomenal uh, impact so impact. The, always the education should be yeah. like the application oriented that's it yeah in fact for guidance like this like the kind of talk which you just gave right now the exact same idea which i had in mind like like even in india super brain when people will get started what after that once you go, okay you got started what will happen after that so what we are coming up with is again that the top 1000 rank will be uh, guided by top it minds like you for the next six weeks we have managed to collaborate with a lot of people and we will be collaborating with a lot of people for the next six weeks this top 1000 minds will get access to uh, to this top it minds from 5 pm to 8 pm every saturday so that they can talk to them they can understand this key things like if they want to get started in machine learning so what are the key things they have to also keep in mind what do they feel for example just like you felt a lot of things like in uh, the data structure is used in machine learning thing now just by interacting with you these guys will learn a lot of things so that is also one one idea which we uh, which we thought that all the top 1000 rankers 
should be given this kind of exposure so we are calling more than 20 plus people and right now i would also love you to be a part of one of those 20 people if you if you agree sure 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 i will always be there for students always that, always i am I there to help the students this enthusiasm i could i could definitely see like when you were talking i mean it felt so great just listening to you as like okay so when thank so, you yeah so even uh, i follow machine learning very passionately so i felt like the, the i could actually relate to what you were saying but uh, i could actually understand so but a lot of people will be out there who won't be able to uh, to understand this but it will be a great opportunity for them so anyways i do you have any questions regarding this competition uh, if you wanted to ask oh no actually uh, uh, for example the ways you guys had uh, you have guys have designed the whole thing i really liked it i really liked it i liked your like your vision uh, i must say i should appreciate your uh, mission and vision regarding this this competition and then you guys are you guys are on the right track to motivate the young minds because that is that is required and to see the youngsters at the future of india and as i always say that if they can come up with some impactful solution then it will be beneficial for all especially the bottom of pyramid which i always mention because because nation always the nation comes first and if if, if you guys are serving some some well beings towards our nation then it will be a fantastic piece of contribution and i i i wish you all the best i wish you all the success and i uh, no whatever you whenever you require me just let me know with best of my capacity definitely i will try to contribute thank you so much that's nice I, to hear my cooperation is always there thank you so much that was nice to hear